What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we all know about the news. Let's let's not play around, all right? Let's not play around. The Detroit Lions have released Snacks Harrison. So let's get it started. Now, last video I did was super awkward. I'm sorry for the cringiness. This one's probably going to come out really late because, you know, I want to get it out to you guys and give you guys my full thoughts on what happened. Now, the Detroit Lions have released Snacks Harrison, and I'm not going to lie, I'm not surprised. I'm really not at all. And uh, I don't mean this in a terrible way or a bad way because I did like Snacks Harrison. He definitely improved our defense right away as soon as he came in via a trade. And it was a good move to bring in Snacks Harrison. The problem was... He, he just lost so much production last season. He says he wants to continue to play. Good for him. I Hopefully, hopefully he can go play somewhere, okay? But I was okay with this move. I'm actually kind of happy with this move, if anything. And I know Snacks Harrison is a lot of people's favorite player. Or maybe they like him, and that's cool. You know what? If you're upset about this and you're not, you don't like the move, I, I'm okay with that because I can understand. If the Lions get rid of Stafford, some people are going to be actually happy. I'm going to lose my mind. I'm just saying. But in this case, I'm not too mad about it. So the Detroit Lions have released Snacks Harrison, which saves about $6.7 million in cap room. Now, to me, this was a good move. This was a very smart move. Um, a lot of people are saying, okay, well, now they have so much work to do on the interior defensive line. But to me, that was already something that I was expecting. It was whether or not he was going to retire. The Detroit Lions decided not to play around. They released him, and I'm glad they did. I'm sure they discussed with him. But I'm glad they did for the fact that we save a little bit more money and we can start kind of rebuilding the defensive line, the interior specifically. The defensive line has a lot of problems. We have a lot of issues. And we have a couple of players that play pretty well, like Kennard, who can go on the line sometimes. Trey Flowers is really good, but just a lot, a lot of older players that we need to just get out of there and kind of rebuild this thing. And also another defensive tackle that I think, you know, we should also move on from is Aishon. But we may not now that Damon Harrison um, is gone because, you know, at least for right now because we need the depth. But Mike Daniels, I don't think he'll be back. We're getting Snacks Harrison. He's cut now. Um, so now we have money to save. We have we saved some money and we can start to rebuild this. Now, I've said interior defense line was our biggest need. And unfortunately for Snacks Harrison, he just had such a dip in production from 2018 to 2019. The whole season production just went straight down over 30 less tackles and I believe one less game. It, it was really bad. He just went down so far, and it's a difference because Snack Saracen in the defense we play is so important. The defensive line, when you only have three down linemen for a lot of time, sometimes only two, you need those guys to be bowling out, being able to stop the run and get pressure. Snack Saracen, unfortunately, wasn't able to do those two things. He knew about it. He said he's not playing as good, and that's why he was considering retirement. But now he still wants to play. I'm sure he, you know, he just he had a pretty bad year. Unfortunately, injuries and stuff over obviously didn't help, and he didn't have tons of talent around him. But it's such an important position in this defense, and you could tell overall as a defense how much worse we were when he this season from last season, all right? Defensive lines, I mean, he makes everybody, uh, everyone better. In 2018, when he came in, he made everyone better because he was able to get pressure on the interior. He was able to help out the edge guys. Romeo Quara had a great season. What did he do last season? I don't know. Trey Flowers was just a great player being a great player. Devon Kennard was a great player being a great player. But other than that, he didn't make anyone better because he had such a dip in production. And then after that, we have Aishon Robinson, which I shouldn't talk about too much because he's not involved. But again, he hasn't been good for us every year he's been here, and he's set to be a free agent, which I think we should let him be. This is the biggest position of need. Now Snacks Harrison is gone. I thank you, Snacks Harrison. Let me just say that for everything that you have done. You have come, came in, you were a, a great leader for this team, and you did a lot of great things. But unfortunately, you know, we had to move on from you. But I do think this is a new opportunity for the Lions to build this D-line. It is their biggest need, and if they can fix it, they will be a way better team. They're going to be a way better team. It's going to be night and day. That defense is going to go from terrible to really good once you get some really good defensive linemen. Younger, um, you know, not the injuries. Guys that can get a lot of production. I've talked about a lot of guys. Javon Hargrave, Chris Jones. I'm talking big names. You need a big name defensive tackle. You can have a depth solid player but you need a big name defense tackle to fill it out we save 6.7 mil with this move and it doesn't seem like a ton but i think it is i think it's a pretty good amount and um i just think this was a good idea for the detroit lions to move on from snack saris and personally i know if you're sad by this i'm not mad at you at all actually i think that's fine it's okay to be upset about this stuff and especially a big player like snacks who did so much for us but i do think it was time and uh whether or not he was gonna retire i wasn't sure the Lions decided to cut him and i think overall this is a good move and the lions are going to be in a situation where they can start to kind of the rebuild the interior defense line. That is their biggest need. They got some money. They got some draft picks. Fix it. Okay, you fix that, you fix a lot of things. You're going to fix help. You're going to help guys get coverage. You're going to fix that Rundy that was 
bad last season. I got really bad last season. Everything defensively last season was awful. We were historically bad, and uh, for me, it really starts on the inside out, especially on this defense. Now, he, defensive line makes everybody better. You could tell the difference. 2018 Matt Patricia defense finished 10th. 2019 Matt Patricia defense was one of the worst in the league. And a lot of it started with the loss of production from the interior, which is expected to be a lot of production. And again, I, I hate to say it. Maybe it was just injuries. Maybe, you know, he was just kind of tired and he needs a little bit of break and he'll come back and ball out. Well, I hope he does. I hope for his sake that he does. Maybe it'll be with us. I don't know. But at this point, I think it was a good move. And uh, now we need to start focusing on rebuilding the interior line, which is our biggest need this offseason. I'm not surprised by this, but I do want to say thank you so much, Snacks Harrison, for every, everything you've done for Detroit. Let me know your thoughts, comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'm out.